Hi everyone, you're here today with me to create a plaque, um, an acrylic plaque from myacrylicalbums.com and we're going to start out today, we've got our acrylic plaque, we've got some stickles, I've got a, a kit from TLC, my cutter, ruler, glass mat, scissors, that kind of thing. So we're going to go ahead and start today by peeling the brown off the acrylic. They all come with this brown coating. It protects the acrylic so that it doesn't get scratched in the process. So I'm going to go ahead and peel all my brown off. It only takes a minute and I'll be back with you in a second. As you can see now we've pulled the brown paper off of the acrylic plate and what this does is, that, like I so said, the brown paper protects the acrylic plate for scratches in in process and in, in shipping. And so once you get it home and you want to use it yourself, that's what you're going to do. It's really, really easy to do. The paper just kind of curls up on itself and sticks to itself once you peel it off. Okay, our next step is we're going to start decorating. I went ahead and picked a kit here um, that's got browns and blues. I really love those colors. Um, so I'm going to use this kit and go ahead and get started. What I've gone ahead and done is I printed up what I wanted to put on my plaque off of my computer. I used the cardstock that came with that kit that I was do using. And I've gone ahead and I've, I've cut them out, inked the edges, and backed them on some of the different patterns of paper. I've also chosen a couple different die cuts that match, that came with that kit that I'm going to use on this. And I've also picked up one of the Acryl myacrylicalbum.com words. The one is love. I'm using faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. So I went ahead and used the love. I'm going to glue that onto this piece of paper and cut it out with my straight blade. I've gone ahead and put the piece of paper on the back of the acrylic love word and inked the edges in that. My next step is I'm going to take, and I'm just using just a regular glue stick because these hold really well with that. And I'm going to glue down each of my pieces. I've got all of my items glued down onto my acrylic plate now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the Mod Podge. You can also use um, white school glue and mix it with a little bit of water. It'll make the same effect. But what I'm going to do is seal the top of this so that I can hang this outside on my front door if I wanted to and the weather won't destroy it. After we do the Mod Podge, we're going to come back and put on die cuts and some flowers and we'll be all set. What I'm doing now is I'm filling in the Love Acrylic Word with some of my ice stickles. And all I'm doing is just just applying it to the top of the acrylic. It'll dry right on top of it. And just kind of filling in the spacing to give it a, a little bit of a glitter. Love a little bling on my signs. And then we'll get on to the next as soon as all the uh, Mod Podge is dry. Now that the Mod Podge is all dried and the stickles is just about dried, we're going to take our foam brush and we're going to take a little bit of white paint and we're just going to run our brush along the edge of our plaque to give it just a little bit of extra dimension and it'll cover up any flaws that we've got on there from the Mod Podge um, over the edge and this will just take just a, just a few minutes to dry and then we'll be ready to decorate with our die cuts and flowers. We've gone ahead and done the white paint. It's all dry now. I've added a couple of the die cuts from that kit around the edge um, of the paper here. I'm just using sticky dots to do that. Use the die cuts if you've got a blemish that needs to be covered up on your paper. You can use the die cuts just for, for pure beauty. I've also gone ahead and taken the scallop that came with that kit and I'm going to glue that underneath on the back side of the acrylic uh, sign. Remember with acrylic being clear you can utilize both the front and the back of each of the plaques. I've also picked out a handful of, of flowers in browns and creams to go ahead and match all my paper and I'm going to glue all these down with uh, sticky dots also and then my final step would be to tie a ribbon which I've got a brown ribbon here I'm going to tie it through the two holes in the acrylics acrylics can be hole punched with uh, Mr. Crocodile. we love Mr. Crocodile in my house for that because you can actually place eyelets in acrylic holes also Okay, last but not least, we're just going to take a piece of ribbon. We're going to tie it through the holes that are pre-drilled into your acrylics. You can purchase from myacrylicalbum.com many, many items. Some have holes, some don't. If you have a special project that you would like to do that 
needs something in particular, just give D an email over there, um, an idea. But this is how simple and how easy it is to create a project using my acrylic album, acrylic plaques, and acrylic albums. Thanks so much for visiting myacrylicalbum.com and stay tuned. We will have more videos online about how to use our albums and our plaques. Thanks so much.